Hi viewers, welcome to Elegant Fashion Tutorial. My name is Charles Peace. In today's video, we'll be making a simple and a beautiful top. And in this video, I'll show you the simplest way to make this beautiful top. You can achieve it within 20 minutes. You can get, even if you are a beginner, it's easy to learn. And the measurements I'll be using, I'll be using the shoulder measurement of 16 inches, bust measurement of 38 inches, the waist will be 33, the hips 39, while the length of the top will be 26 inches. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video, sit back and watch till the end. Now, this is the fabric we are using for this tutorial. Now, the shoulder measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 will give us 8 inches. And I'll be adding half inch, making it 8.5 inches. This is 8.5 inches. Now for the armhole, I'll be using 9 inches here. Yeah? Remember the shoulder is 8.5 inches. This is 8.5 inches. Why this? 9 inches here. Yeah. Okay. Now the boss measurement is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give us 9.5 inches. This is 9.5 inches, yeah? I'll be adding two and a half inches, yeah? Then, the waist, I'll be using 16 inches, yeah? 16 inches, that is from shoulder to the waistline is 16 inches. Then the circumference of the waist is 33 inches divided into four. Divided into four will give us 8.2 inches. This is 8.2 inches. Then I'll be adding two and a half inches as well to it. Then the downside, that's the upper hip is 39 inches divided into four will give us 9.8 inches and i will also add two and a half inches here now the downside remember the length of the top we are making is 26 inches what we have here is 22.5 inches. Now, we still need to add up to, let's just believe it's 22 inches because the half inch, I will use it to join something down. The downside, I will add something to it. Remember we said the top length is 26 inches and what we have here is 22 and a half inches. That means we are making use of 22. The half inch will be for the joining. And I'll be adding this net at the downside of the dress. So this is 22. 26 minus 22 will remain 4 inches. So I'll be measuring out 4 inches from here to add up to this. Now, because this downside, I want it to be a kind of a shape. I added two and a half, two and a half here. Remember, this is eight, nine point eight inches. Instead of adding two and a half, I will add four, four inches here, so that it will have a shape. So now we we'll join it together with this line here. Now, swear this line here. 
So I want it to be shaped like this. This is the shape I want from it. Now, the shoulder, remember we have already mapped out the shoulder. Then I will remove from the front side. Remember I'm cutting two of them together. I'll be cutting both of them together. So this, I will remove one inch shoulder slant here. To join it with this side. Then at the neckline, I will measure three and a half inches here by. I want the two neckline to be the same, three by seven inches. And it will be a V shape. So I'll take it straight to the point. Okay. Now the next thing I will do now is to curve the armhole. Just measure one inch here to curve it. Now I'm cutting both of them together. I will cut first from the armhole. Then Then I'll open this downside because I joined them together. I'll open it up. So we are done with this. The next thing I will do now, remember I told you that I will be adding a net to the down part. The remaining downside will be four inches. Instead of that four inches, because of the joining, I'll be adding one inch so that I'll use half inch to join it here and half inch to fold the down part of it. So all together, I'll be cutting it as well to the same time. Then I will swell fold it into two. Remember, I've already folded because I want to cut the front and back as well together. I'll be folding it into two again to get the length. Okay. So now, this is five inches here. I'll use one inch to join it then. I'll cut it up. Then I'll open it up as well. Okay, we are done with the body. The next thing is the sleeve. Then as well, I'll be using this for the sleeve. I'll cut a circle shape.
Now the sleeve, I want it to be a circle sleeve. Now, remember the armhole, I used nine inches. So because of the allowance I added, remember I added two and a half inches to it, which when we are cutting, we reduced it. I reduced it a bit. So I'll be cutting, instead of nine inches, I'll be cutting 10 inches. Because I want to cut both of them, it will be half circled. So I want to make a full circle. Now divide it into two. Now, I'll be making use of 10 inches as the armhole now. 10 plus 10 will give us 20 inches. Now, remember I folded it into four. 20 divided into 4 will give us 5 inches. Now, I will look for the radius that will give me 5 inches. Now, let's go for 3. This is 3 inches. Now let's check whether three inches can give me five inches. Yes. I use the radius of three inches. Now if you measure the round, the circumference here, it will give me five inches. Remember, I'm cutting the, the sleeves together. And this side, the length of this side now I'm measuring from this circumference here. Now, the length of this side will give us 9 inches. Why the length of this side will give us 7 inches. Now, I will use this side as the upper side because I'll be cutting both of them together. So this side will be upper side. If I cut both of them the same, Remember in our previous video, I showed us how to make a circled sleeve, which I told you that if you want the both side, both the upper and the downside to be of the same length, you don't have to start, you don't have to measure the radius at the center point here. You have to go down, you have to measure it down here so that this side that is lower will be at the downside while the one that is longer will be at the upper side. Now here, I want both of them to be at this center. That's why I made this side to be, this side is nine inches, Why this side is seven inches. So I added extra two inches so that when I put it on, all of them will be of the same length. So what I will do here now is to connect from this point to this point now. Okay. So if there is any question, drop it at the comment section below. I will answer you. If you are confused in any way, please drop your comments. Let me know. Now I will cut out this place. Now, this is the result. Then I will divide it into two because I want to use it for the boat sleeve. It's half circled, not full circle. If it's full circle, I will use I will use one. So I don't want to be cutting it one after the other. Instead, I cut it together. Okay, we are done. So this is how it will look like. You can see? This will be the lower side, Why this will be upper side. Now, remember the armhole that we measured is 10 inches. Let's check what we have here. You can see, we have up to 
11 points. So it will be okay because that's where you plant some space. So guys, we are actually done with the cutting. Now let's get to the sewing proper. Now the first thing I will do here is very simple. The first thing I will do here is to join the downside. That's the first thing. I'll be joining these together. If you want, because this is a net, you can first to fall. Either you fold the downside and place it. Let me show you. Now the first thing we'll do, you either fold this, join it together like this, or you can decide to fold it, maybe use half inch and sew on top of the net direct. And fold half inch, then use it to join it direct instead of you to fold it together. Whichever way you want, you can join it. Then as well, you join the downside. Or if you like, you can leave it like this. It's still okay because it is a net. It cannot lose. So if you feel like leaving it like this, fine. But if you want to fold it as well, you can go ahead and fold it downside okay we are done with the joining at the downside you can see i've jo already joined the net and i've folded it and i top stitch it straight as well we are done with the front and back now the next thing we'll be doing here now is to turn the neck I will use a bias to turn the neck, the two neckline. That's the next thing we'll be doing. And after this, I will show you the next thing to do. Now I've already turned the neck, as you can see, the front neck and the back neck is turned. The next thing we'll be doing now is to join the shoulder. Now you, f you place the right side to face each other. The right side will be facing each other. Then you join the shoulder line. Then you take it half inch. I will take it half, half inch on the both side. You take half inch and join the shoulder on the both side. Now we have joined the shoulders together. The next thing we'll be doing now is to insert the sleeve. The non cheat. Now, this is the shoulder line. You make sure, you first of all, mark the center part of the sleeve, the center of it, to rhyme exactly at the shoulder line. Use pin and hold it round. We'll go and sew it. You take it half inch, use half inch and join. Okay, I've already joined the shoulder, the two shoulders. As you can see how the sleeve is, I've already joined it together. So the last thing to do now is to join the two sides together. We are almost done with the top. Remember, it's an A shaped top. So I will use half inch or you use one inch depending on the allowance you gave. So use half inch and join the two sides together. 
after it we are done with the top we have joined as you can see the top is now ready you can see the shape is an a-shaped top you can see how beautiful and gorgeous it is don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i publish another video join me on my facebook group at elegant styles and tutorial for different styles of your choice both english and african styles we have both male and female and we have styles as well for kids thank you very much for watching